Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our ongoing video user guide for APT where this time we're going to be doing a bit of pixel peeping by having a look at Pixel Aid. So to access Pixel Aid all you need to do is go to either to your tools menu when you'll find it there or use the Alt X shortcut which will bring it up. Now Pixel Aid operates in two modes depending on what image you got loaded and how you're viewing it. If you have a fits image loaded and your image preview is on one to one, uh, which you can get just by double clicking on your smaller preview if you have it for fit, um, it operates in fits mode. If you have another type of image loaded or the image is in uh, preview on its fit, um, it will operate in bitmap mode and they are both slightly different. So I'll go back into fits mode at the moment and basically this gives you your measurements in ADU for the area inside your source here. Now depending on where you put it is what figures you will get. Uh, the minimum, maximum, average ADU, the median ADU and the uh, standard deviation. And of course that will change wherever you put that. Uh, with the fits mode you do have another choice. You can either do it by one pixel so the cross will put you on one pixel and you will find for that you get your ADU for that pixel and the XY position in pixels on where it is. So this one's 2713 across and 1119 1 pixels down. And that's how that one works for just one pixel. So all you get is the ADU for that one pixel and it'll change wherever you might move it. And it also operates on a whole image. So this will take a reading for the whole image and as you can see I can move it around and the figures will stay the same simply because it's doing the whole image one. Now one thing with um, it in fits mode, it is not affected by the stretching of the image. Um, if I clear this you'll see that the images, it still remains exactly the same, uh, the results don't change. It's not affected if the image is stretched or not. Uh, it has nothing to do with it at all. So that's just the way it works. Uh, turn off one pixel, go to image. So that's how that works there. Uh, like I said, it doesn't matter whether you're on one pixel, the whole image, or just what's in the screen. It will give you the details for that. And as I said, not affected by being stretched at all. The figures will remain the same. And the other mode is uh, bitmap mode and instead of giving you an ADU reading this gives you a black and white reading um, where black is zero and white will be 255 uh, just the standard ones for bitmaps and things like that and it but still gives you the same details uh, your one pixel and whole image don't work with this so if I go whole image non applicable one pixel it really gives you nothing it's it's not relative to it at all so it stays on just what's inside your square and as you move it around it will change. Now the big difference between uh, fits mode and this mode is that it is affected by the uh, amount of stretching on the image because it's just based on what's displayed. So if I clear this you'll see the images will change. There you go, the information has totally changed because it's based on whether or not it's stretched. So if you're going to be using this, you'll probably want to use it on an unstretched image. Um, but that's it. That's how it, it works. Um, not much more to it. It just gives you an ADUs uh, in fits mode for uh, the image or a section of the image. It's up to you what you use it for. Um, you can see if you're blowing things out or not and just have a look around. Uh, it's not something I've used much. Um, I'm not that much into pixel peeping. I just go for a good overall image. But that's how it works and that's all there is to it. So I'll finish this video now. Wishes all clear skies and see you sometime in the future. Take care all.